Welcome back to Python basic series. Today we are going to see about list and all the list operations will be covered in this single video. So do watch the entire video and it will be interesting. So without a further ado, let's get started. Welcome to ASA learning. Now we are in the Jupyter notebook for a learning purpose. We are going to see each and every list operations that you need to know about Python list and I will walk you through step by step. So stay with me. First and foremost, we are going to create a list. I'll name the list variable as L. In order to create a list, all you need to do is to open square braces. So if you open a square braces in Python, it means you're creating a list. The values inside the list is comma separated. I'll give three values now, one, two, and three. Here L is a list which contains three elements, one, two, and three. Let me show you. Hence, our list object is created. To understand it in easier way, to create a list in Python, open a square braces and have the elements in comma separated. Let's check the type of this object, type of L, which should give you a list object. To find the length of your list, all you have to do is give len of your list name. Here list name is L, so I'm giving len of L, which should return you three. As we have three elements here, the length of this list is three. How to access a value from this list? Consider you want to access the first element of your list. The index starts from zero. To access a value from list, it is very easy. Open a square braces and give the index value. So L of zero should return you the first element. And here the value of the first element is one. If I run this cell, it should return me one. So by index, you can access a value from the list. And now let's create another list with only string values. I'll name it as ASA list. I'll open a square braces. I'll give three string values here, which are A, B and C separated by commas. So if I run this cell, ASA list is a list object which contains three elements A, B and C. And now let's append a new value to our existing list. All you have to do is call your list object and you have append function which adds a new value to the list. I will name the new value as D. So let's see what this list contains now. I'll run this cell. As you can see, a new value has been added to our existing list. The existing list has four elements now, which are A, B, C, and D. Really simple, isn't it? So now let's see the most useful list operation ever, which is list slicing. So we are going to slice this list based on our needs. Consider you want to print only the elements B, C, and D. We are going to slice this list. Again, call the list object that you have created open a square braces and you already know the index of the list starts from zero. So I want to print from the index one. I will specify one here. So if I print this one, I'll get only B, which is the second element from this list. But our requirement is to slice this list. All we have to do is give the column. So if I run this cell, we will get all the elements starting from the second element till the last. This is how you do list slicing. But what if you want only the first two elements and ignore the rest of them? It is also the same concept. Again, just call your list object. Here, we are going to print all the elements till the index one. But here you need to remember only one thing. If you give one, it will print only the first element because it ignores the first index value. So I'm going to give two here. So if I run this cell, I should get A and B. And we got the A and B. This means print all the elements till the second index. So from the second index to the right, the elements will be ignored and only the first two elements will be sliced and you got only A and B here. This is how you do list slicing from both the directions. You should know both these list slicing techniques. This will be really useful for you. And now what if you want to replace a value in the list? For example, you want to replace the first element A with the value E. It is very simple. The index of the first element is zero as you already know. So call your list object. Let's see what the index zero contains. It contains A. All you have to do is to assign a new value to it. I'll assign it as E. So if I print my list again, I should get E, B, C, D. So A is been replaced with the value E here. And now let's get the count of values present in the list. Consider you have multiple count of the same value. So if you want to get the count of the values present in the list, again, call your list object. You have count function and you need to specify which element you want to count. I want to get the count of E in this list. So it returns me one. For example, if E is occurring two times in this list, it should return me two here. And hence it returns the count of values present in your list. And just imagine you have large number of values in your list. You don't know what is the index of your element. In order to return the index value, call your list object. You have index function. You want to know the index of B here. 
if I run this cell, it will return me the first index that is occurring in the element. It actually returns the first index of the value b here. So b is at the first index, so it returns me 1. This is how you get the index value of an element in a list. And now comes the favorite part, reversing a list. Reversing a list in Python is very easy. Call your list and give reverse. We have reverse function. And if I run this cell and print my list, the list should have been reversed. As you can see, we have E, B, C and D as my original list. If I give reverse, the elements of this list has been reversed. I have D, C, B and E in my list now. Next comes the pop an element from the list. By default, if you give pop, the last element will be deleted. Let's see how it works. Give your list and we have pop function. Let me print the list again. And now it has deleted the last element by default. If I give pop, it removes the last element in your list. So now the list contains only three elements, which are D, C and B. So let's insert an element to the list. For example, if you want to insert a new value at the first index, it is very simple. Call your list and give insert. So this should take two arguments. Let's see what are those, which is index and object. I want to insert a value at the first index. So I'll give it as zero and the value that I want to insert. I'm going to insert A. Let's print the list again to see what it contains. And now the list contains four elements. So A is inserted to this existing list now. And now the list contains four elements, which are A, D, C and B. So that's how you insert an element to a desired index. And now comes the favorite topic which is extend and append. Many of you might be confused about two functions that are present in the list operations in Python, which are extend and append. Always remember that the append function adds an element to a list. We already saw how to append a value. It adds that new value to the existing list. So initially my list had three values. If I give append of D, we have four values and the D is inserted at the last. But what is extend? Extend concatenates the list with another list. So if I give ASA list dot extend, you can also give only values. I will give it as E. Let's see what my list contains. And now we have the fifth value in the list, which is E. You can ask me this is also similar to append, but that is not the same. For example, we already have a list L, which contains three elements, one, two and three. And now let's see the actual difference between append and extend. I'll print L which contains 1, 2 and 3. So let's see the difference between append and extend now. So if I give ASA list dot append of L. So L is an another list. So if I run this cell, let's see what my list contains. As you can see, the list contains A, D, C, B, E, but the sixth element is a list itself, which is added at the index 5. But what happens if I give extend instead of append here? So if I give extend of L, you can see the clear difference between extend and append here. If you give append, the complete list is been appended at the sixth element. But if I give extend, it is added as individual values. This is the major difference between extend and append, whereas extend concatenates the list with another list as individual elements. To be more clear, if you see what the index six contains, it contains one. But if you see what the index 5 contains, it contains a complete list inside the index 5. This is how append and extend works in Python. And now let's create a nested list, which is a list inside a list. I'll name it as ASA nest. Now to create a list, you need to open a square braces. One, two, three. So here the fourth element is a list itself. I have created a nested list. ASA nest is a nested list, but how to retrieve the value six from this nested list? It is going to be a tricky one, but if you understand it properly, it is going to be really simple. Let's call our nested list ASA nest. All you have to do is to retrieve the element six from this list. That is the requirement. As you all know, the index starts from zero. So zero, one, two, three. At the third index, we have a list itself. I'll show you what the third index has it returns me a complete list, but the requirement is to print only the six. So inside this third index, we again have zero, one and two. This is the zeroth index, first index and the second index. Again, I have to open another square bracket and run this cell. We got six, seven and eight. Again, it starts from zero. All you have to do is to give zero to access the value six. 
This is how to retrieve a value from a nested list. And finally, the most important thing, how to iterate a list. Let's use the L which contains three elements, one, two, and three. Let's iterate this list. So for I in L, this should iterate every element in your list. Let me print the I value. The list L contains three values, one, two, and three. So if I run this cell, it will iterate the complete list. And there you go, we got all the elements iterated from the list L. And I hope I have covered all the operations that you need to know about the Python list. To explain briefly, we saw how to create a list, to find the length of it, how to access a value from the list. And we also saw what is the difference between append and extend, how to do list slicing from both the directions, how to replace a value in the list, how to get the count of values present in your list, how to reverse a list, how to pop and insert an element to your list. And also we saw about the nested list and how to iterate a list. I hope you all find this video useful. Do give a like, comment your queries below. I'll try to answer all your queries. And we have Python basic series playlist coming soon. And do watch the other explained in minutes videos. The link of the playlist and the notebook examples are given in the description below. If you are interested in automating Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp, we have social media automation. You will get the pop up above. Do check out. And see you all in another interesting topic in Python basic series. And don't forget to subscribe to ASA Learning and hit that bell icon. Take a pound.